Uh, good afternoon. I would like to thank the organizing committee for giving me the opportunity to attend the conference and uh, share with you my experience during uh, the refinement of strategy, intervention, and instruments for the efficient use of information communication technology in Hellenic economy. And uh, my experience also uh, during the execution of the operational program Digital Convergence. Program uh, slogan is uh, everything is possible, but is everything possible in the new cloud computing era? Our program has two priorities. Priority one, enhance productivity and competitiveness, and priority two, improve uh, citizens' quality of life. We plan to serve those uh, priorities through four pillars. E-government initiatives, broadband infrastructure development, state aid actions, and new financial instruments, uh, financial engineering instruments. Let's see the current status of the operational program in figures. Uh, we have available uh, almost 1 billion euros for ICT projects during the period 2009-2015. I guess not bad at all, but uh, we have approved up to now ICT projects for funding uh, with a total budget of 2 billion euros. Uh, in some cases, this uh, shows the big lack of early planning. In other cases, the big lack of political commitment to support the reforms. On the other hand, uh, our provision of our strategy was to support massive reform in the public sector and encourage ICT companies with, ex with great expertise and high potential to deliver new ICT projects and services in order to drive new uh, resources of revenue and contribute to the creation of new jobs. Moreover, I have to say that overbooking is a common practice when we run operational programs in order to secure the absorption of European funds at the end of the limited period by having enough successfully completed uh, projects. Up to now, we have contracts that uh, sum up to more than 1 million euros, is good, and disbursements on the level of 62% uh, of the available budget. Let's have a quick glance at the e-government sectorial policy and how the available budget is distributed. No surprises, fiscal policy, as fiscal policy, we have allocated the biggest of our budget. New ICT solutions have been deployed for monitoring the state budget execution and it compacts the tax evasion and economic fraud. New e-services in the area of taxation are already available to the citizens. For example, the submission of financial statement is mandatory to be done only electronically. And um, more or less, that form is already completed for you before even uh, go by logging to the system. Through interoperability functions, the, ta uh, the taxation system with banks, with social security foundations, uh, with uh, companies, and uh, even a uh, registry of real estate. I would like also to illustrate that we have ICT projects and new e-services are coming from uh, development in e-health and social security, e-justice, and uh, even uh, environment and geospatial data. Our effort was to integrate the basic principles of European digital agenda in our architecture definition. I'm sure that you are familiar with those principles, and I know that the Albanian authorities have already taken those priorities under consideration into their plans. Even so, I would like to place some examples to the establishment of interoperability standards uh, among ICT solutions, applications, and networks. It is important, according to my opinion, to define the data owner of each crucial registry and to promote open data policies. Interoperability standards and appropriate content are going to permit us to deliver added value services at the end of the day to citizens and to business. Another point that I would like to emphasize 
is that cloud computing and the evolution of the Internet of Things require fast and ultra fast uh, internet access for all in competitive prices. To achieve this, we must establish next generation access networks and we need to invest in broadband infrastructure. Here is uh, some of our priority projects and Project Rural, MAN and G-Cloud are projects in line with the digital agenda. Rural project uh, goal is the installation and operation of necessary infrastructure for broadband internet access in order to achieve digital convergence of the most disadvantaged rural area uh, of Greece with the rest of the country. More specifically, the project will provide faster internet in more than 1,000 settlements with a total population of more than 170,000 uh, people. MAN project goal is the maintenance, use and further development of the fiber optic metropolitan area networks that connect hundreds of public buildings and schools with, uh, in uh, 68 municipalities throughout Greece. The administrators will undertake the operation and the management of the infrastructure under a very well-defined service level agreement. Um, I forgot to mention G-Cloud. G-Cloud project is to build a private cloud infrastructure for public sector capable to offer hardware as a service, software or platform as a service, even applications as a service products to ministries, municipalities, prefectures, even social security foundation and hospitals. The idea is to achieve economy of scale and better utilization of resources, avoiding previous silo implementations. Unfortunately, service level agreement cost for leasing a public cloud infrastructure is not yet eligible for funding from European structural funds because it's considered as an operational cost. Having in mind all those projects, I'm thinking that uh, ICT projects may be riskier than we think. In case our functional level analysis in case makes no sense or we don't have clear and verified registries, then nothing, including the cloud, make much, much difference. <coughs> E-government services, but my opinion, all e-services have a tendency to be too data-driven. That's why, uh, to my understanding, we need to be clean and verified registries. Museum and other visual, visual archives, geospatial data in order upward to build added value services to citizens and business. We need also to apply open data policies. And uh, to my opinion, the reuse of public sector information on content could fuel innovation also. And new cloud-based products and services. The presidency of uh, Council in, uh, of the EU is held by the 28 member states, as you know probably, in turn for a period of six months. Last year, we ran a Hellenic EU presidency, and uh, as a member of the ICT administration office, we wanted to build an environment where the delegation team for all, from all member states would uh, exchange unclassified course information, communicate and collaborate virtually from anywhere, and uh, SharePoint online and Microsoft is 365 products that is, are totally cloud-based products, offering a range of uh, cloud-based collaboration and productivity tools allowed us to meet those commitments and um, Despite the tight delivery schedule, 
and use widely the available funds. This case was the 100% exploitation of cloud incredible capabilities and uh, efficiencies. As a professional program strategy, we included also the approach of uh, public private partnership for development ICT project. And with great success, because it was a tool to stimulate economic growth and leveraging private funds. That approach seems a little bit compatible with cloud computing in the sense that we buy services instead of infrastructure. Rural network is a public-private partnership project. Network development and maintenance costs approximately 50 million euros, while operational cost is approximately 110 million euros. The network development will be funded by state and EU funds, while the operational cost uh, will be covered from the private partners. The total duration of the contract is 70 years, and the ownership of the property remains to the public, which also maintains a strong regulatory role. And a few words about uh, new financial instruments that we would like, and uh, on those I would like to highlight the Jeremy Initiative that is organized through the European Investment Fund. International calls were organized in order to select fund managers that will operate according to the best industry practice. Several startups companies have already raised millions of euros from the market, and uh, most of them involving cloud computing uh, concepts and uh, developing on social networks and services. I will conclude my presentation, my presentation mentioning only a couple of completed projects like e prescription for which former commissioner and vice president Niel Coase said at eHealth Forum last May that in Greece average cost fell 30% since e prescriptions uh, were introduced. E procurement that I know that Albanian authorities have also launched one. Tax debt for fiscal policy. Only when we had enhanced its, its interoperability features, we managed to provide reliable e-services, and uh, we improved project efficiency impressively. And some projects to digital and museum archives in order to enhance access and improve preservation. And projects to create a special data and modernize agricultural repositories. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> Have a nice afternoon.